Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I, um, I'm really into like old black and white movies, 30s and 40s, vintage Hollywood, golden age of Hollywood, the actresses from that, those times. And, um, Marilyn Monroe has been coming to me lately. She's actually not like, I love her. I think she's amazing. She's light filled. She's just not someone I usually am focused on. She's not like my fave quote unquote, but like her energy has been coming through a lot lately and I feel like she's a very divine light being and I feel like we just really need that light right now. So I want to just get some messages from Marilyn Monroe right now. I just am feeling like this very soft, beautiful, feminine energy that needs to come through from her. So this could be the four divine feminines, but just for the overall collective, what what does Marilyn want, like, what advice does she want to give us right now? I just feel this, like, very soft, like, daisy, flower fields, like, gentle energy that I feel like she can really bring to us right now. So what does Marilyn want to say to us? What, is, what does Marilyn want to communicate? And she was a Gemini, so she was the communicator. Sweet voice, sweet everything. Okay. So inner strength oh okay move back to wholeness recognize you have the power i think that like this is very important because you know people saw her as very delicate very sweet and perhaps there's like a narrative that she um she was like maybe a pushover or kind of like she was sexualized or whatever and perhaps there was like a, a struggle that she had um, with herself and with fame and all that. I don't know. I don't want to project too much of my own beliefs because we only can really speculate. But I feel like this is saying like to know who you are, to believe in yourself. This is like advice that she would give herself is to keep your inner flame and to always stay true to you and don't let anyone extinguish your flame and devotion trust your spiritual guidance your commitment has been recognized you are loved unconditionally so and also to stay in that vibration of love to stay in that spiritual vibration what's like Marilyn like what's one regret you have about how you wish you would have lived your life or advice you would say based on like your own regret or you know, how you wish, something you wish you would have done that you didn't do. <sighs> Increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. That's like literally all these messages. Light activation, shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. I mean, I just feel like she's saying to be true to yourself. There's a lot of voices in the world. There's a lot of people trying to tell you what path you should take or who you should be. And it's so important that you, you have your own personal, like, um, you have your own personal, it's like roadmap inside, like uh, purpose. But there's a word I'm more so looking for. It's like a blueprint and you're when you go off of that you can intuitively feel it and it could be very tempting to go off of it but i feel like she's saying to trust that with all your heart no matter what anyone says and no matter what the negative voices in your head say marilyn what else do you want to communicate oh look at this we had the lovers this is gemini energy that's like she is here with us I feel like she's also saying to believe in love, to let go of, like, to let go of fear and people who have, like, abused your love and to always turn your face towards the sun, towards the love. People who have come and go and made you feel lesser than, don't, don't turn your back on love for yourself and the possibility of a twin flame soulmate connection, those of you who are watching this. Um, you'll know when it's not the right person. People who are selfish, people who just want your time, take and leave. But it doesn't mean that you're not going to have everything you want. 
I feel like if you're true to yourself and true to your soul, you're going to have everything you want. Don't waste your time on battles. Don't waste your time trying to prove to people who aren't going to see you, which is kind of what I just said in the reading today. Slow and steady wins the race. There's no rush. There's no having to prove to anyone. And, like, be careful who you share information with. Don't just talk to people who are trying to get information out of you. I want to know more about this lovers. What else, Marilyn, do you have to say about this lovers? Um, love takes a lot of dedication and discipline and focus. It's not an in and out energy and I like I said turn your t face towards the sun but it's also comes from a place of like an inner child energy be with those that like you connect with on this innocent inner child level you'll know who they are they bring out the best in you they make you feel safe they make you feel innocent they make they don't leave you with a bad taste in your mouth after you've been with them all right um I just wanted to kind of do this reading real fast. Let me know how you guys like this. I may do an extended on this at some point. Thank you guys for being here. Bye.